how did Wiley play tonight? I mean, second game on the center. Oh, he played well. You know, I mean, he's real consistent getting the ball out and whatnot. I really like what I'm seeing. You know, he played better this week than he played last week. The only thing we got to really work on is our kickoff coverage. Well, definitely special teams. You got a, had a field goal blocked as well and missed a field goal. What are some of the things you think you guys need to do down the stretch with the special team? Well, I mean, really, it's just our special. It's just the kickoff. The field goal was a low kick by the kicker. You know, he just didn't have a good plant foot right there. But, you know, again, we got some new people. That's got to grow a little bit. So, you know, next week's game three and hopefully we play better and get rolling. I was really happy with our punt coverage today. And we had some trouble with the punt snaps last week. We didn't have any trouble at all today. Yeah, played well, you know, didn't give up any points, so you like that, but you know, uh, just got to keep playing. Those, you know, those guys get more confidence every week that they play. Now, how's your, your new safety, Devontae Reynolds, how's he coming along? You guys communicate a lot in the side. He's playing very well, and so is Ricardo Volson, the strong safety. Both of those guys are, are you know, new for, as far as starting, and they're playing very well. D-line as a whole definitely got it in tonight, man. You know, what were you guys able to do other than just completely destroy the offensive line tonight? Um, really, just getting pressure, doing that job. We got to control those gaps. We control those gaps. We won the game. We was in that gaps every play. That shut down the run. Like, uh, slowed down that passing attack and get some pressure on them. That really hurt the game for us. Hey, you had the key play of the game. Yeah. Walk through that play. What did you see? How, 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 I, I was I was trying to reach, trying to find a uh, ball, and the ball popped out. Cole Hammond, he got the cause of fumble. So I seen the ball pop out. And I was like, okay, it's Christmas time. I'm going to score. I, just, I, I felt somebody on my back with him, my teammate. So I'm pushing off so I can score. If I couldn't score a kickoff return or punt return, I'm going to score on defense. First down. All right, D'Angelo Branch, I know you said, hey, Coach, I got you. You definitely did, man. You had, you had over 100 yards in the first half, and then you guys really kept it going, really pounding the rock. What, what were you seeing out there? Man, I was seeing gaps, my line, sealed they put people off perfect, my fullback filled in, got through the hole. I mean, we did what we were supposed to do today. What, what plays were working good in particular for you guys? Everything. I mean, some players had to get skinny, like the ISO. They, they hard those plays. Power is easy, follow you you're on guard. Everything else sweeps, got everything just reading, I gotta have vision. How does it feel to get, you know, really avenge the loss from last year, last year on the road from the road. Lost a tough game, but you get off to the right start to me at Wizards for you the rest of the time. Yeah, my, on my O-line, my fullback, we, we didn't get the ball that much last year. It was, I mean, more passing than running. So we knew, like, we're going we gonna to hard nose and something. So we should run the ball. And so that's all we did, run the ball. Number three. So there you have it. The Norfolk State University Spartans get off to a good start. They are 1-0 in the MEAC with this win over A&T. Hey, D'Angelo Branch and the defense was flying and making plays. Sounds like a good recipe and a good start for the season for the Spartans. I'm Joe Cook for NSUSpartans.com.